are. Well, here she is, folks. She's got a resume that is as good as it gets. North of 20 consecutive wins for the UFC. Strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li. And what else can you say about her first title defense against Joanna Jacek other than the fact that it was maybe the greatest fight in UFC history. It will eventually be in the UFC Hall of Fame. And John Wei Lee was the rightful winner that night. Certainly had her power on full display, but a lot of skill and technical acumen as well. It is gonna take a huge effort. Anyone else at 115 pounds to dethrone the UFC's first Chinese champion. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. the tape for this strawweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the challenger, John Magnum Wiley. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Irvine, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? is underway on one side you've got a true five tool player taking on a more specialist type of grappler but she's stubborn man i wouldn't be surprised to see her engage on the ground and if she engages on the ground then she's gonna find herself in trouble this is a big fight and a very dangerous fight for her she needs to make sure that she keeps this fight standing as long as she can as far as it gets caught with that punch well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants. She said when and where she decides she's going to be able to secure takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. So Esparza has got the full mount. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal 
with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submission, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Both fighters get up now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Carla Esparza. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. That's off to her. So as we pull up some numbers here for the 29 total strikes, have now found the target for Paula Esparza. Oh, she connected with the knee of the body there. And this is something she saw on film. Her opponent left that body open right through that hole. She's taking advantage of a weakness, and she'll look to continue doing the same thing. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Oh, nice shot. That is how you scramble, folks. Esparza gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, a combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and pitiful. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. Back he gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yes, yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Right. Second round, straight ahead. Five minutes in the books as we take a look at the replays from that previous round. She can punch with anybody in this division. Yeah, with the best in this division and the best in any sport. She's a fantastic boxer. And you can see it in the amount of punches that she landed in that previous round. All right, so round one, a tough act to follow. Let's see how it plays out here in round two. Carla Esposa. And also ready to go, Wei Li Shang. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice kick there by Sean Whaley. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Whaley gets in the clinch yet again. And there's a takedown attempt. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Strong jab there by Sean. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown dudes? Nice punch by Sean Whaley. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely, both of these fighters love Fighting all the master of the transition. Nice scramble. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 55 total strikes have landed for Carla Esparza. Well, pretty efficient with the striking attempts thus far, landing with 65% accuracy against Wei Li Zhang. Right hand landed. And there comes the separation now. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Stuff to take down, no problem. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice job. Wait, we going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh! Oh! She's starting to put together some 
some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Final seconds here. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice punch. Oh. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, spinning back this over out of nowhere. Nice little shot lands. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Well, these numbers aren't official, but they are strong. 73 total strikes that have found the target now for Carla Esparza. Well, dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Wei Li Zhang. Esparza gets touched by that kick there. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Tie clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do. All right, so she finally gets the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not. Zhang's looking for an arm bar here. And attack an arm bar. So she appeared to be fending off the arm bar, and then she just used her power and exploded her opponent down to the ground. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and. Here's your evidence, outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. So the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. DC, a lot of high-level striking and punching over those previous five minutes. Man, she did a lot of good in that round, a lot of good. But it was the punches that really did allow her to take control of the round. What a great round. Can she build on that as we move forward? All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to sort of fight. Oh, 
she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. So Esparza's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast. Nice entry oh. into the finish, the record. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Shaw. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Right punch is there. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Shang's pass attempt denied. Final minute. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Esparza. Zhang's pass is denied. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. job by her there to reverse the position on the She was in trouble, now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position, very quickly. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? Go, Here we go, fifth and final round. She missed with that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Very nice leg kick there by Sean Whaley. Oh, look at that double leg takedown by her there. She's as good with that takedown attempt as any fighter, I would think, in this division. As good as anybody across any division, across any gender in mixed martial arts. It's a confidence that she has when it comes to that specific takedown attempt. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and getting back to your feet. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jean. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground to come. 
So as far as this right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Two minutes now to go in this. Oh! Huge right hand! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Nice. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the nice game. Directly into the finish. Nice game. All right, hammer fist here by Esparza. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the How position. How good is her arm ball? We'll see if she can set it up here. Attacking arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So a dominant performance tonight for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. Your winner by way of submission, and it is going to take a spectacular effort from another contender at 115 pounds to dethrone this talented champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 5. For the winner by submission, and new... Queen, and you are looking at her. 115 pound division now belongs to her. Congrats on a huge effort to dethrone the champ tonight. She came in the underdog, but no one will ever expect her to lose a fight again. With this performance, she shows how big a task it is to.